one. And we are officially live. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. yeah, Friday. Let's go. Do it. <laughs> This yes, is sir. Wall. This is Mike Wall, and I'm joined by this is Mike Wall with the Agent Revolution podcast, and I'm joined by Miss Nikki Gregory and my man Nick Kramansky. Man, we are about to drop some knowledge on y'all um, today. We are talking about building a business with a higher purpose, man. And and um, you know, Nikki, I'm so glad because um, what to, I'm, I'm so glad to have you on because of the mastermind and what we just went through and getting to hear your story and. And seeing how passionate you are about that, because I know that if we can get other agents in our industry to connect to something like that, they can, they also can build an amazing business, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we're gonna dive real deep today into that, man. And and um, some of you are probably asking the question, you know, well, what does it mean to build a business with a higher purpose? And and I think. You know, it means something different to everybody. Um, like that higher purpose, really, you're talking about really, you're talking about, you're talking about getting a hold of your why, right? You're talking about getting a hold of that thing in your life that gets you out of bed every day, that, that drives you, something you can be passionate about, where you don't have to rely on willpower. You can rely on the power that that event or that thing that, uh, that it gives you in your life. Right, guys? Yes. Right. Exactly. So why don't we do this um, so we can set the stage for what that means um, to our audience. Nikki, why don't you tell everybody what that means to you? Ah! Woo. Here we go. <laughs> okay. All right. So, well, why don't we do this before we get started? Um, for those for those of you who are new uh, or watching for the first time, let tell everybody at first just a little bit about yourselves. And 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 uh, Nikki, we'll start with you, and then Nick will will you can go next. Yeah, um, my name is Nikki Gregory. I'm a real estate agent in the Panhandle of Texas. I run a team called the Red Door Group. Um, here, we've we've been um, in business for about four years. Um, I've been in the business since 05, but, um, you know, I, I became a team leader then. So, um, that's really, I have three kids <laughs> and, uh, just, uh, just, that's, that's really the gist of it. <laughs> cool. Well, let's do this. Talk, so talk a little bit about, here's, here's the thing, man, like you, you know, this, this agents act thing, it's, it's a, it's a, it's not a, it's a newer thing in your life. I mean, to 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 the respect of that, you know, you've really kind of taken it to another level like this year. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I, I think caring about something has kind of always been in your nature. Um, but I, I, I really, what I want to know is like, so you've been in business for 2005 and we can do the math. You've been in, in business for, you know, for a little while now. So when did you actually connect to the fact that you needed something more than just the day-to-day -day grind of real estate. I think about 10 years ago, I um, started, I, I had learned about what a big why was like, and, and was pretty excited about that. And I'm like teaching other people how to find their big why. I was the person in my office who had put together like the vision board, um, you know, parties and always um, helping. And I just wanted to motivate new agents that were coming in to, because Real estate, it's it is, it's a grind, and it's not always fun, and it's got days that are really stressful, and people burn out in that first year. So, I really enjoy just the message of teaching other agents how to find what that is um, in your life. Like you said, everybody's different; they each have a different um, purpose that they were put on the planet, and a lot of people don't even know what that is. They have a hard time even finding that, and I think that really comes down to just fear of admitting to yourself something something that big. And so I liked helping people not just find it, but work through the fear of admitting that they wanted to do something that big. And um, it kind of just started with that. And then uh, I knew that my big why I uh, was ended up being um, through some relationships and some connections, um, saving, you know, helping with human trafficking victims. And so that that kind of came through relationships of that my sister, a, a mutual friend that my sister and I had, who uh, is my age, and she was my inspiration. She went over there around that time, maybe a little bit before that, and she just went over there by herself, got on a plane, just went over and just started rescuing kids like all by herself. She went by herself to find out where they were, and um, 
from there, she built an organization and she just inspired me because I was like, I'm just over here just selling real estate. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to help her. I couldn't jump on a plane and just go live over there with her and go rescue the kids. But I would, I, I actually, she and I became close friends just kind of over Facebook messenger and um, then started calling and she would send me pictures of some of the kids that they were um, rescuing or had just rescued. And she just, I just helped, I tried to help support her in that way. And then also I was sending her, um, I started out just doing like a hundred dollars out of each of my paychecks and started out like that. And then it just kind of grew from there. Yeah. You know, I really just, as I was friends with her, saw how big the problem actually is. And it's just so big and so overwhelming that I just kept thinking, gosh, somebody's going to have, I, I didn't know if it was going to be, um, the United States? Is it going to be Hollywood? Like, I don't know, someone needs to just organize a big group of people and make a dent, at, at least a big dent in the problem, you know? And so she, she inspired me also too, because when she went over, she said that she heard, she just kept hearing, who's going to do this? Who's going to do this? Somebody's got to do something. She was doing that beforehand. And then she just said, if it's not me, then who's it going to be? So she just jumped on a plane and went. And then a few years later, I was asking myself the exact same question. And then it just was like a, just hit me in the head one day. Like that's exactly what she said to herself. <laughs> and she, then she ended up having to admit, like, if no one's going to do it, I have to do something. So then I found myself in a place doing the same thing, just kind of saying someone's got to do something bigger, like to fix this, to help in a bigger way. And then it just hit me. If, if I don't do it, then who's going to do it? And that's just kind yeah. of been one of our mottos now. So. Yeah. And you know, the funny thing is like that happens in our business too, right? We, we, we yeah. like, we start, we start expecting people to do stuff and it's like, people aren't you, you know what I mean? So if you don't do it, the stuff usually doesn't get done. Exactly. And, and so for you, you know, one question that, that comes up in my mind when I hear you talk is, so there's a definitely a difference um, in, you know, in you knowing about something or you having, you having a, a you have an experience through your friend, right? So your friend had a, a, at a firsthand experience before you did. She w actually went over there and she dove right in and, you know, she was, she was committed at that point. And then you were connected to that experience through your friend. Right. And, but what happens is, is you like, you are, you are connected on a different level when you actually see it firsthand. So talk to me about the difference when you saw, when you, when you heard about it from your friend and you committed to that hundred dollars a month, but then the transition from that to actually seeing it firsthand and the impact that that made. So I would say that the, the, the initial impact was when I, what I, when I started, when she started, when we started in our friendship where she was starting to send me the photos, okay, of these babies, like immediately after they've been rescued or sometimes she would get Intel photos and they just weren't in good shape and just your heart just breaks. And um, at that time, I, I knew that my big why was to help her. So when I was getting those, it just became more urgent to me um, at, around that time is when I went to um, the mastermind um, in November, I think, and um, was inspired again because I finally felt like I was making some connections, like connecting some dots. Like, I think this is the group of people that can help me, but um, I didn't know how to get from <laughs> point A to, you know, point B. Like I didn't know how we were going to do that. Um, and then we did start working on that from there. Then that's when we went, that's the first time I ever went there to actually see it on the ground. Yeah. And the difference was, you know, the pictures, the photos that she was sending me also inspired me that, man, we got to get this where people can see it. Like mm -hmm. I could tell the difference in how I was responding and I couldn't like stop thinking about it just from her, um, communicating and showing me what was happening and telling me the stories. And the more and more that we were communicating that way, the more, I was, I did just felt more urgent. And so this wasn't something that where I had kept saying, Oh, five years from now, 10 years from now, after I've built my business, I'm going to start donating a lot of money, donating a lot of money. It became more, um, just urgent. Like I needed to do something now, but I didn't know how or who was going to help me. I knew I needed a bunch of people because I don't have all the skills it takes to do this. But, um, Anyway, so when we went and we actually were on the ground there, it changed everything. It just became a thing of it doesn't matter what we have to do at this point. It has to be done. And I and then I started to just um, realizing, man, I've been teaching people build your business with a higher purpose, find your big why. And my skill set is not 
to go over to Thailand and go rescue the children, but I need to partner with her because my skill set is connecting with people of influence. Like I have a lot of friends mm -hmm. that have influence, have a lot of connections. I have a lot of connections with people with connections. And so I just started seeing that like as a big machine that we could build and strategize and um, partnering with her when she has the other skill set of rescuing them, housing them, educating them, clothing them. Her, her, uh, the only real big problem that she has in this and the struggle that she has is building the houses fast enough because where she's at, this area, she's got 65 kids a day or traffic in just her area alone. And she started saying to me, I could get them all, Nikki. I can get them all. I, I can't put them anywhere. Where, where are they going to sleep? So that was a big push as well because I just thought, man, okay, we got to start connecting people together and get the right people and do something about that. That's so that was, And then get, that was the difference. And you hit the ground. When we got on the ground and came back, that was only like a month, a month ago, a month yeah. and a week, something like that. Uh, last minute trip there. And again, it just, we saw things you can't unsee. It, it changes your entire mentality, way of thinking. I think everyone should take that trip. Um, but you just, you can't come back from that and be not, not motivated and not like, I don't care if I don't sleep. I don't care if I don't eat. <laughs> like yeah. it's got to happen. Somebody has to do something. So it's, it's what, what's really cool that about that, that the experience for you is, is that it, cre it creates this reciprocal effect, right? It's like a symbiotic relationship where um, it pushes you. And the more that this, the, the bigger impact that this why, your, your personal why has on you, the, the more you're driven to succeed, uh, not only in your, in, in, in your efforts to raise money for, for that, but then also in your business, right? Because the more, the more business you do, the more you can give back. And then it just kind of, it's this, it's yeah. this amazing loop that continues to feed itself. Yep. But the, I think the biggest difference I've seen in you since you've gotten back is the fact that, you know, you've got everything so dialed in right now. Like, you know, beforehand it was just kind of, you know, like you said, it was, it was something, you know, you talked about and, and then now, you know, you know, as, especially ever since the mastermind event, um, you've got like all this different backend technology that people uh, and, and, and that people can get involved in to you know to, to really kind of see this through. Yeah. And so you know, why don't we, Nick? Why don't you talk a little bit about that portion of it? Um, and, and then and then we want to talk to what we really want to do today is really be able to get the message out to get other people involved as well. Yeah. So I mean, as, as far as the technology go, and I think in this day and age, we can all agree that the quickest way to spread a message is through technology. So that's why when we were talking to Nikki at first about what we can do to help, at first we didn't really know where we could fit in. We just wanted to, I say we, it's my brother and I and our company, but we, we just wanted to help in some way. But what we soon realized is the quickest way to spread a message is technology. So that's when we started using the tools that we've already built to help the message grow. So what we were able to do is we have a couple of different levels. And for everybody out there that's thinking, man, I don't, I, I don't know if I can afford to donate right now. You know, everybody, like you have to be worried about your business and be worried about your own home first. We have packages starting at as little as $15 a month to start getting involved. But when you start getting up until like you have an ambassador program, which is 50 a month, and the highest level one right now, I believe it's 75 a month total, we created tools to not only help spread the message, but to also help build your business as well. So I'm gonna get into that a little bit as far as we create uh, complete landing pages for yourself and your business that coincide with the message that's going out as well. So what, what we allow people to do is essentially white label agents act when they're an ambassador. So you're, you're allowed to white label it almost as your own message, as your own nonprofit that you're essentially like an ambassador. So at the end of the day, what we realize, and Nikki and I have talked about this as well, as far as we don't care if our faith is grounded or not. Our end goal is not to be the people who are in front of it and everybody in the country knows it's us. What we care about is making sure that we're, out to, we're able to bring in as much money as we can for the kids. And the way that we're able to do that is allowing other people to put their faith on it and share it with their clients. So at the end of the day, what our technology allows people to do is not only share the message with more realtors, but share it with their clients and show their clients in a mobile, social, and friendly way using our tool to help spread the message to their clients as well.
Yeah, that's awesome, man. And what so here's like I just had this epiphany because like if you yeah. to that broker, to that agent, or to that person in general who's watching this right now, if you don't have a why, well, here's a why you can connect to right away, right? And, exactly. and, and not only that, not only can you connect to this why, but you can make you can make a huge impact. So why don't we talk about the different programs that you offer? What kind of to that to that agent out there, that broker out there watching, well, that, yeah. that's thinking, you know, well, you know, it's just you know, it's just fifty nine dollars a month. What kind of impact can that really make? Like, tell, why don't you tell our group what 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 does that actually mean to someone over there? So uh, okay, Nikki. So you're talking about what does it mean to somebody in Thailand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Nikki. I think this one's more for you here. Uh, well, what 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 we're gonna do is uh, we partnered with two organizations. Number one is my friend who I was talking about. Um, that organization is the boots on the ground organization that actually rescues, feeds, uh, builds. They're building. Um, they've bought land. They're building on that land. But like I said, she needs more funds to build more homes. We need to be able to make the land sustainable so that she can, um, they call it the land. I'm sorry. It's, I don't want to say the actual name of it, but um, they want to, they need to make it sustainable so that, because what happens is when they rescue kids, then all of a sudden, each time they rescue a kid, their bills go up, up, up every month. So we're trying to help with that. Um, it impacts the, the actual rescued child in a way that, they're brought in, they're going to be put into a safe, like emergency home um, initially until they are, they, they are, they rescue and they also heal. And then they also go and educate other people so that they don't keep selling their children. That's the, that's the epidemic is the impoverished population that are, have no option but to sell their children. And it's just been going on for so long that it's just become a normal part of the culture or the, the just the way they do it there. Um, so it, it does several things, I guess is what I'm saying. And, and it talks about that a little bit in our video, but number one, it rescues, they, they use the funds to rescue to, and then to take care of that child. They put them, um, these kids will be put into a family style home. The cool part is we don't have to figure any of this part out. Okay. So that's why it's, it's a perfect, like you said, symbiotic relationships have been lining right. up all over the place for this. So we have we have her, she knows how to rescue. She knows how to educate the kids. She knows how to take care of them from, uh, in that realm, that's all her. We have another organization that we're partnering with called Kids Not Slaves. And they are our, to us, we, we say they're our differentiating factor from other people who are doing this because they have the expertise of 10 years of what they do is they vet people who are doing this on the ground. So there's a lot of problems with people going and saying that they're helping victims of human trafficking. They go to different countries and really they're just on an extended vacation taking donations. And there's even worse than that. There are people who say they're doing that. They, they rescue the kids, they rescue the kids, and then they put them in a, a home. But actually what it is is just another brothel that they're selling the kids out of for sex trade. And so they're taking the donations and then taking money as they're selling them. So this other organization, you know, that's not us. We don't have that expertise. We needed to make sure that the money is being put in the right hands and being spent wisely and that whoever's using it is being a good steward of the money that's donated. And so that we work with both of those organizations together. And then um, that's so the best way I know how to tell you is just this money. It's just going to change lives. I mean, <laughs> that's the best way to put it. It just is literally yeah. taking kids out of a nightmare situation. These children, as they're sold, they're sold and then they're sold again and sold again. And eventually they're going to end up in what's called the red light district by the time they're 12, 14 years old. Um, and then right around that age too, um, maybe a little bit older, they're going to end up with AIDS pretty certainly. Um, and then, then they just don't live very long. And so, um, and it's, when you go down there, you can see that it's an epidemic. So um, the first day that we were down there, we went to the border and we saw where, a lot of these kids are sold out of that the, the border where it's called Myanmar uh, right there. And it's, they call it no man's land. And it's called that because there's no law. And you can see um, these little shacks lined up that look like maybe some people's homes and they're not their fronts for the mafia to sell any age child out of that. And it's right across the border. You can stand in Thailand just a couple feet away from it and look at it. And those houses are right there. And any man walking up and down right there is going to be offered any age child, boy or girl, and they're selling them out of those little shacks. Um, it's literally the most evil place on the planet. It's just 
it's just evil, pure evil. And then right as you walk, if you keep walking down the border and you're passing military men that are just sitting there to get paid off, basically, and not talk about anything. Um, there's, there's, there was a brothel that we um, walked past where an informant had told us two weeks ago there was a 14-year-old little girl chained in there, being forced to service men and not allowed to leave there. And then as we stood there and watched that, and you can see these long boats going back and forth to that brothel illegally with the military just sitting there watching it and doing nothing and they're not ever going to do anything. And then they asked, okay, do y'all want to go down? Do you guys want to go down further and go see the children's brothel, which is like eight, nine year olds. That particular one was about eight, nine year old little girls. And um, you don't understand, like I knew what we were going to be going there to see, but when you're actually standing there and you're trying to walk towards it, it's just this such a evil feeling, so oppressive and just, it literally just makes you almost feel like you can't, like you're suffocating or something. So, um, you know, that was, they have gone in to, they did get actually a few little girls from that brothel a few months before we were there. So again, that's where the money is going. It's going to get those little girls out of those brothels. It's going to get them in a safe home. They, they, it's, gonna, it, it's to get the medical attention, any kind of um, emotional you know, healing that they need to be able to be put into a family home. And then they're put into a family home where they have parents and siblings. And it's not an institution. It's not institutional. It's very warm and caring. And um, she's it's her goal to make them such productive members of society that they are so inspired that they come back and that they end up changing the way that, you know, that the future of where that country is headed with this. Um, it's her, her, um, belief and I, I believe her that if you get enough of them they can go change this you know so yeah. and if I, and if i can add something to that too you know like like you're saying 60 dollars a month not might not seem like a lot but i know somewhere in the video it talks about this world needs more good good people to cancel out the bad so a lot of times with a lot of with a lot of different organizations and they set the bar at a point where you just can't like you just can't shuffle out 300 bucks a month to some places to go help out. So we're a firm believer at setting the bar at a point for all the good guys to be able to step forward and give to this cause. And what we give you guys in return is some technology to not only help you spread the cause, but to help you grow your business. So eventually you will be able to give more back to the cause. Yeah. But at the same time, at 60 bucks a month, we found it, it's a way to all yeah. the good guys to come out and show that they're good guys. Now it's not just about how much money you have. If you're a good guy, join the cause and be able to give back and show people my money's just not like real estate agents sometimes get that perception of all my money goes to my nice, the nice car that you just saw pull up in the driveway or my big house. No, we want to show people that the money, ought, the money that we, that we earn from you is going to a good cause. So at the end of the day, at 60 bucks, if you're just in the baseline ones, you can give more and there's an unlimited amount that you're allowed to give. But at the same time, we want to show the world that there's more good guys than bad guys and put it at a price point that we're able to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's a great way to put it, man. Where, so where where are we sending people, like, if they want to learn more about this, guys? Go ahead, Nick. Nick. Yeah. Go ahead. So here is, if you guys want to learn more about this, uh, you can go to join.agentsact.com to see how you can join up. So once, once you go to that website, you're going to see the different packages that you're able to do. And like I said, if you want to make a one-time donation or make, um, you can have an unlimited amount of donations as far as like how much you want to, you can click the one time. But we have different packages built out, which allow you to get the tools to help you spread the message as well. So again, we have the, once you become an ambassador, that's when you get your own specific landing page, your own, <laughs> what's up, that's, you get your own specific landing page that has your face on it that allows you to show people that you're the one giving back to this cause. Because at the end of the day, you want to show your clients that you're a good guy. Because again, like in that video, we want to show the world that there's more good guys than bad guys. So at the end of the day, we want to put your face on it. So those are the ambassador packages. So once you go to join.agentsact.com, you're going to be able to see the different packages and see how you can start getting involved. And like we said, 60 bucks not might seem like a lot. But when we add up all the good guys in the world, I'll tell you what, we're going to be able to make a big change. Yeah. yeah. I want to add one. Can I add one thing, Mike? Yeah, Nikki, go ahead. Uh, so you're talking about the reciprocity and we talked about this in Cincinnati was the, the, uh, that book, the go giver and, and the idea of reciprocity and, and being able to, um, you know, 
your heart has to pump the blood in before it can pump the blood out. Your airs have to suck in air. I mean, your lungs suck in air before they suck the air, uh, take air out. So um, that's the idea of reciprocity. And we, we tapped into that because I had so many real estate agents. We were getting feedback from real estate agents and I heard comments. Everyone has such a good heart and they all want to give back. They all do. They're, they're great people real estate agents. So, and you talk to them and they're like, yeah, I want to do that. And I have plans in five years, 10 years. Well, here was the problem. I'm looking at one area of 65 kids going every single day and hearing that over and over and over five years, 10 years, five years, 10 years. We all know what happens with our five and 10 year plans. They just keep going five years out and 10 years out. Like then it never happens. Well, it's because we're busy. We don't, we can't stop what we're doing. And I, and I had a comment from one agent who I really, I really love actually this couple there is a couple but he had said I don't I can't right now I can't take the mask off my own face you know to I'm supposed to keep the mask on my own face I need to take care of my family my responsibilities once that's built up one day I'm going to do something like this so right. then we just were really set then that all of a sudden not only do we let's build something that everybody can get behind it's a great cause we know yeah. it's in the right place they don't have to like they they don't have to figure all this out they don't have to you know put together the fundraiser at all they don't they literally can just plug into it white label it but then let's use the law of reciprocity and on top of that like let's help them because we have some skills and if everybody gets together and they're like i don't know you know like and they're all putting their skill into into one you know <laughs> plot here then we can use our skills to help them build their business and the law of reciprocity says if i help them because they're such good hearted people that they're like, no, you don't need to feel like you need to give me anything for giving. And I don't want you to take away that feeling of giving. And we're like, no, we want to give back to you because we want your business to grow. We want to make you a community champion so that you in turn have more connections, more influence and more money, honestly, to give back. And then we just keep back exactly. and it'll just keep growing because right now I have over 40 agents that all have skills. So we're all going to be figuring out more and more ways to help each other. And yeah. so, so that we can get it to be a bigger impact and just to, to, to build, it's just goes back to the, to the one big fire. Honestly, it's just. Nikki, how can I show people the video that you showed us at, at the mastermind event? Is there any way for people to access that or is yeah. that? If that will put that link that yep. Nick just gave you, it's, yep. if you click on that link, it's the first thing that plays right when it pops up, we put it right at the top and then yep. all so the information is on it. What'd you say? So, yeah, go to join.agentsact.com and the video is the first thing that you see there. When you scroll, um, you can't miss it. So you go to join.agentsact.com and you're gonna see that video that kind of explains a little bit more of the cause. It shows them about their trip to Thailand. I'll tell you what, I, I don't cheer up often, but that video, I, I almost can't get through it without doing it. So it's, no. it's a good video, it really shows what's going on over there. And that's, uh, no, I definitely recommend watching it. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. This has been super insightful. And what's so cool about putting content out like this is that everybody wins, man. Literally everybody wins because yeah. even if you do, let's say you already have a why, but you just want, you want something else to be able to give back um, that not only will, will help grow your business, but it will give you that peace of mind that you're continuing to make an impact on the world or you're that agent or that broker out there who really hasn't tapped into what their why is. And, you know, this is something that you could put in place to help, you know, fuel that fire that you need in order to go out and, and not only make an impact in the world, but to be a successful agent or grow a successful business. So every, yeah. everybody wins here. Um, I, I'm curious, and, and Nikki, let's, let's start with you first. Like how can people, how can people connect with you like directly if they have, you know, more questions about this that maybe they can't get answered on the website. Uh, we're going to post an email on that website to send me. I was putting out my number, but I'm getting way too many messages to get. <laughs> I'm, it's, yeah. it's kind of blowing my phone up. That's a good thing. Good problem. Um, so we're yeah, about right. today or tomorrow. I will post an email on there for any questions about Agents Act, because I know I've had some people message me. Hey, how do I build a house? Like, how do I build an entire house? Well, that costs about 40,000 American dollars, just so everyone knows. And, and I've already got a couple people that are telling me that they want to do that or they're going to put whatever, like an event together and they want to donate. We have probably five people so far that have said that their goal is a million dollars each. Or So, um, you know, we're not going to not take a donation. <laughs> and so those are the packages for you to be a, um, one of our ambassadors so that we can help you build your business. 
and then um, beyond that, we'll we'll get back to questions on that on that email if that if that works for everybody. And yeah. we'll actually post that link. I'll post the email under this video as soon as it's up and running. We're doing it right now, actually. Yeah. So. And Nick, clarify one more time the different packages that are available and the cost. Yeah. So uh, it starts off at fifteen dollars a month, and that fifteen dollars a month. Uh, it goes back there, but you'll also get a newsletter that you're going to be able to send out to uh, people in your business and also to your clients that explain to us how much money was given to the cause, uh, how many kids were saved and uh, homes built or just everything that's going on. So you're able to send out to people and show them that you're involved in the cause. And then the next step is $50 a month and, it, and that's the ambassador package. And the ambassador package when you, is when you get the technology that allows you to basically white label it as your own and then also have another tool, which is our digital business card on top of that. And then the next level package, I believe is 75 a month. And then once you're there, uh, you're allowed in the Facebook group. We kind of let you know what's going on next. And uh, that money goes to the cause. And then if you want to donate more, there's a one-time donate where you're allowed to set up the bar as high as you want and just donate as much as you want. So that's on the page as well. Cool. And if people have questions, uh, as it relates to the technology that they can't get answered on the website, Nick, how can they connect with you, brother? Man, connect with me on my Facebook here, or you can just go to nickcrem.com. Go there. I have a calendar schedule anytime that you want. I'm always open to talk more about this. I have pretty flexible hours, as you'll see on there. Just go to nickcrem.com, pick a time on my calendar, and we can talk more. You could do that with mine, too. Actually, Mike, mine's called nickygregory.com, so they can schedule a, time, a call with me on there. That's a good way to do it right now. She said, um, sorry, my, my admin just told me also you can email me at Nikki at sell with Nikki dot expert. That's just an extra email. So it doesn't get lost in all my other emails for real estate. But you know, one more time, Nikki, it's Nikki and I C K I at sell with Nikki and I C K I dot expert. Awesome, man. And, and just so you guys know, when we drop Nikki's link in here too, um, I don't like you to get too far to ask you. We're going to do the join. That's going to be here, but we'll also show you what, this technology that what we're talking about looks like. So if you go to Nikki's page, it's going to be her front page, which you can send your clients. And then when you scroll down, you're going to see the ambassador link and it's going to take you over there. So you can check it out as well. Yeah, and we get, that, get that web link one more time, Nick, the web link, the direct web link. Join.agentsact.com. Okay. And that's A G E N T A C T S, right? Agents. Act. Agent. No, S. there's an no S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So no S. A D E N T S A C T X dot com. Awesome, man. Well, listen, thank you guys so much for coming on. Um, it is always a pleasure talking to both of you. Uh, I, I am, I, I'm, I'm just honored to be able to, to, to be a part of what you guys are doing and, and, uh, helping you get the message out because I feel it is so important. And not only that, I just feel like, that it's such a valuable tool uh, that if people get involved with, not only from the the, the impact side, but also the the, the you know the, the direct impact on their business as well. So it's just really cool to be a part of this, and and uh, I just want to say thank you guys, and and um, you know I, I'm you know anything I can do to help in the future, I certainly want to be involved in. So we'll put a bow on this one and uh, <laughs> connect here in the future. No, thank you, Mike. We need more guys like you out there, more of the good guys. All right. Well, you guys have a great Friday, man. You too. Yeah, thank you. Too. you. See ya. See ya. Woohoo! That was good, guys. <laughs>